All right, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble an ASUS GL752V. So first what you want to do is remove all the screws from the bottom. If there's any USB devices, just disconnect them. Okay, so there will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws. Once you remove all ten screws, um, you can take the CD drive out. There will be three screws underneath that. So remove those three, all right? Once you got those three out, um, you can pop this cover off. So just go underneath with your nails or a pry tool and just pull it up and go around, okay? After you do that, there'll be screws underneath. You'll want to remove the four from the hard drive here. Um, there'll be another screw down here, a screw holding in the SSD, and then two screws up here. So once you do that, the SSD will pop up. Just wiggle it out. Take it to remove it. Okay, the hard drive, you just pull this to remove it. Okay, pull that and then take it out. All right, um, this is a 2.5 inch SSD. The M.2, according to this, only supports SATA uh, M.2 SSD, so don't get the PCIe or NVMe SSDs. Um, and then the RAM, got right here. So the RAM is PC4. 2133p so this is a ddr4 memory okay so you don't need to take that out to take out the other cover so i'm going to leave that in there okay and then there's the cmos battery to remove that you just get like a small um, flathead screwdriver and you push it in and then you can pop it out Okay, so I'll leave that in there. Um, so once you do that, um, it's pretty tough to get this one apart, but basically um, there's a gap, I left it open. Um, but basically you'll use a pry tool or your nails and just go around and kind of just pull it and pry it. You'll see there's like the little clips along here. So once you do that, go along the sides and the front, you'll want to disconnect the cables in here. So I already did that. But um, I'll open it to show you how it's all the all the ones are similar to all the other computers. But basically, there's a little plastic latch. So I'll show you after I remove this piece. So once you remove the sides and the front, um, then you'll want to use a thin pry tool. Um, and along the back, there's a gap between the palm rest and the that. So. You'll have to make sure to remove the, the cables underneath here. Disconnect them before you do that, just so um, if you pull it out, you don't damage those cables. Okay, so after you um, make sure to disconnect the cables, you just get your pry tool along the back between the two layers and just insert the pry tool and then kind of like pry it out just like that, okay? So just slowly pry along the edges. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, you just go along the whole back, slowly like prying it, okay, just like that, and it'll pop all the clips out, okay, just like that, just like that, and once you get all those clips out, then you can slowly lift this out, okay, all right, so here's what the bottom looks like, so it has these three cables here, so the backlight, the keyboard, and then the trackpad or touchpad, okay, you can set that aside so as you can see here the clips are just like this they have these little plastic latches that you just flip and then once you flip those you can wiggle out the cables okay all right once you get all of that you can see the battery here you can disconnect it um, there's some tape on top just take the tape out and then you just grab the two corners of the connector and you kind of just wiggle it and it'll come out like that. Okay, so that's how you remove that. Then you got the LCD connector here. Um, <clears throat> the fan, the fan's held in with three screws here. Um, the fan connector, then the wireless adapter, the wireless card, just like all the other ones, you pull from the back tail of it um, and then you just pull it up and it'll, at an angle, it'll pop out. Don't pull from the front because you can damage it. Um, I'm not sure what this little thing is, maybe like a, I don't know, that's weird, some kind of sensor. Um, then all the ports and everything are connected to the board, can't really remove them. And then this is the DC jack, so under the tape I'm pretty sure it's the same as the battery one, you just grab the edges and wiggle it to pull it out. Then you got the speakers here, looks like it's one piece. Um, the wires look like... 
looks like the speakers actually connect underneath the motherboard. Um, I'm not taking it all apart because I only need to change the battery on this, but yeah, then that's pretty much it. The DC jack looks like it routes underneath the hinge, so you'd have to remove the, the hinges from this to get it out, and then you can change out the, the charge port. Okay, then you got this USB board, um, so if for some reason these are broken, you can replace this board with the audio jacks, and if the cable's bad, you can replace that too. Okay, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully this video helped you. If it did, remember to like and subscribe, because that'll help me, and thanks for watching. Bye.